All right, ever seen one of these before? It's called a dental lathe. And they actually use them to um, shape and polish dentures. So uh, I bought it at a local auction, didn't know what I was getting. The auction company did a pretty crummy job of, photo of photography um, and it looked like something, I thought it was going to be something about this big, like a little Dremel sized thing, the kind of thing you would attach like a little flex arm off of maybe. Um, anyway, I bit a dollar on it and won it. <laughs> uh, so I went over during my lunch hour and picked it up and said, whoa, this puppy's big. And it turns out these are quite expensive to buy new, like, uh, I don't know, five, six hundred bucks. Um, and the, this collet release mechanism over here is, is a, um, an accessory that's very expensive by itself, like almost as much as the, the original lathe. Just for this thing, and what this does is it takes quarter inch attachments, of which I'm sure many of us have many. So any of this kind of stuff buffing, whatever. But for buffing, what you're supposed to use is this thing. Somewhere, I haven't located a source for them, um, you know, dental supply, I guess. Uh, they make buffing wheels where instead of having, you know, a big old hole like that, they have a little tiny... Yeah, camera cut off. What I was saying was, uh, instead of the big hole, they have a little teeny one, and what you're supposed to do is, with the thing running, you just go whoop, and it has a thread here and it just catches it up on it and spins and it's a quick change so you can keep your buffing wheels stored separately with the charging compound and you don't get cross-contamination pretty neat idea so um, yeah I had this on Craigslist and nobody bit and I don't know I may just keep it it's kinda cool alright I got this position sideways just for demonstration purposes uh, but this is how it works. You bring this out. I forgot. There is a spring-loaded thing right there. It's an ejector. <clears throat> now, so you bring it out. You push in. And then you just let it come back. You don't crank it back. <clears throat> and that's tight. And then when you're ready to take it out, like I said, there's a spring ejector in there. So you ding, comes out like that. I haven't messed with this in a little while. And it's got uh, low speed. High speed. It's a pretty neat little tool. I think I probably will keep it. Alright, update on this guy. So, um,. By the way, this thing fits on with a taper, and to get it off, you unscrew this guy, and that pops it off. So that's how that works. Looks like it was in much further previously, so maybe I'll tap it in a little bit. got this guy, uh, or I had it sort of packed up, because no sooner had I decided to keep it than a buddy of mine decided he wanted it, so there you go. That's how it works. Anyway, um, I'm not going to tap it in all the way. You can see the witness where it was all the way up to here. But I'll be taking this apart again soon, so here's how. I, I did find an online supplier for these guys, and I probably paid too much, because uh, I think I found them on eBay much cheaper later, but Anyway, so this is how it works. Can you let's see the uh, the thread is uh, counterclockwise? So I wonder which. I think it's this side goes first. Yeah. And the idea is we screw them in and go. And oops, let's turn it over. And 
to get it off, you just spin it. Super and the idea is you can have you know a bunch of these and you'll have different um, grades of compound and you keep your wheel together with the grade of compound you're using with it in a plastic bag or something like that. And so you can have multiple grades and no cross contamination on the, the wheel, easy change. Um, so, pretty neat. Yeah, so, like I said, I think it's pretty cool, but uh, it's going out of here because my uh, buddy decided he liked it even more than I did. <laughs>